Hi, it is Marie and I'm back again today with another video. And uh, today I wanted to talk about cerebral palsy and pain. Um, pain is one of those things that has made cerebral palsy more prevalent in my life. Um, as I've gotten older, more significant. Um, I, when I was about 14, that's when I started to experience what I'll call real pain. Um, it was pain in my hip um, from from lifting up my legs. It's this like pinching, locking feeling. Um, and I don't know if there's anything popping out. I, I just like it's just this pinching, locking feeling. Um, I started to experience in my knees, especially my right knee, um, because my left side of my body is weaker than my right, and so when I walk, everything just kind of falls onto my right knee. Um, when I run, same thing there. I started to experience more pain in my back, um, whereas when I was a kid, I would experience things from stationary things, you know, like if I stood for too long, um, or if I if I sat up for too long, um, then I would experience pain. Um, and, and and so when I got to around fourteen, you know, it was like this whole new thing that I never experienced before, and I I still live with it today. Um, However, and I, I, I realize this is going to be weird for some people, um, when I was my freshman year of college, about two months into my freshman year of college, I started drinking um, what is called the yerba, yerba mate. Traditionally, it is served in a, in a gourd with a bombilla, that's the straw. Um, it's popular and Argentina, Southern Brazil, uh, Uruguay, Paraguay. Um, I just started drinking because I wanted to, um, and then all of a sudden I realized I have no pain in my hip, um, I have no stiffness. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I have no stiffness in my legs, um, I have no pain in my knee, I can actually move. Um, and so, like, I, did, I realize this is odd, but it's part of my experience, so I wanted to share. Um, I'm not advertising, I just wanted to, to put it out there that um, I, this is something that has helped me. I, you know, do with that what you will. <laughs> um, but anyways, so that's, you, you know, it helped. Um, Meeting people also helped me um, with my pain experience. Um, you know, growing up, people would be people without cerebral palsy. When I complained of my feet hurting, when I complained of my knees hurting, especially with my with my feet, they would say, "Oh, you just you need new, new shoes. You need more support in your shoes." And I could totally understand where they're coming from, right? because they're coming at it, they're answering my questions, my concerns, with their own experience. And, you know, cerebral palsy is not a part of their experience. Um, so it's difficult to think that they would consider cerebral palsy as a cause of my pain. Um, and so that's where meeting people with cerebral palsy who actually have cerebral palsy as part of their life experience has helped me, um, and it's made my pain uh, more easy to deal with, um, and I can deal with it better, I can manage it better, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame that I have pain, um, because it really does limit your mobility, um, and you've got to keep it in check, um, and there are just times where it just hurts so much. Um, and even with getting on a bed, you know, sometimes that's that's difficult because you you, you feel like you can't move. And you know, for me, it's like my legs have just like locked, and I, I I can't move my legs. How am I gonna get out of bed? Um, so meeting people 
them. Drinking yerba mate uh, has, has helped me um, a lot, actually. Um, and, and, and so that's all I got for today. I will say goodbye, and I will see you in the next video.